I wanted to do a bigger drive video, so I came to my studio, which has a little more open space. Uh, this piece of like AstroTurf was the biggest, um, you know, surface that I had, so that's why I'm using that for him to drive around on, so he doesn't get too dirty on the hard floor. Um, so I just wanted to show kind of how he's driving. Uh, the panels still are very uneven and sanded, so there's a lot of cracking when he drives around, but all that will go away once the uh, panels are tightened and sanded uh, the way they should be. But basically, he's uh, about as done as he's gonna be. Um, I have the head tilt, so forward, back, right and left. He can obviously go in full circle. Um, I like that he can kind of look around at stuff. He can look up at people track them around uh, but yeah I'll drive him around a little bit he's not the most stable but um, this is about as good as I can do so Okay, here's a, here's a quick speed test. I'm gonna try and not break them. <laughs> you can't see, but you almost took a spill there. Okay, I wanted to give you just a little insight and I'd like some opinions. Uh, this is all very sloppy right now, so please excuse that. But basically for the, the uh, head tilt right now, I have Carrie's um, DMM, and then I have this servo with a block uh, screwed into the top. Um, you can see I just have batteries and stuff just very sloppily wired in right now. And then on the head, I have this sort of system. So he can, basically it can pop on there, and then I can have, uh, you know, the head tilt. Now, the cost of that is weight, obviously. Um, I have this servo block and the servo and this battery. And right now, with all of this all in, with magnets, screws, everything, I'm, about, I'm at about two pounds, three ounces. So if I were to lose all this, I would definitely be well under two pounds, which I like. And it occurred to me that, you know, I have a... Uh, and you know omnidirectional drive system so I can just turn him using the drives I'll show you what I mean so let me just put his head back on and right now as it stands I can like I said I can turn his head like this or I can turn his head using the drive inside and obviously I could also put a turning mechanism inside the body. Um, so I don't really know how much I would use the actual inside the dome rotation. I guess the only thing that I couldn't do is if I'm using the drive like this to turn his head is I couldn't drive forward and have him look to the side at the same time. Um, but to me, I don't know how big of a trade off that is compared to the amount of weight that I would lose. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I, I'm still deciding if I want to have a rotation mechanism inside the head or have a rotation me mechanism inside the body or just use the body as the rotation mechanism because again, I have a omnidirectional system so I can turn his head by turning the whole body. Um, I'd love to get some people's thoughts and let me know what you think.